In the fast living world, we wish to get from one place to another as soon as possible. And the easiest way of course, traveling on the road and building bridges to reach places inaccessible. China is one of the fast growing countries in the world, especially in the field of construction. Before going into the video, please like and comment and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. How is China able to build fast? Stick with us and you will soon have an answer for that. China is one of the largest economies in the world and its appetite for growth just grows stronger and stronger as days go by. Being the largest populated country in the world and with most of its population living in huge metropolitan areas, it was essential for China to find new methods to speed up construction, especially that of bridges, to ensure that the country could keep up with the ever-growing needs of both its population and the economy. In its frantic race to keep up, China has ended up being the leader in infrastructure construction and bridge building. China's engineers are true of a different breed and the work style is certainly different than what you would see in the rest of the world. No matter how big and complex machines get, nothing will ever beat the sheer will of humans. We will look at some of the amazing machines explicitly created to build bridges and to build them faster in the bridges which were built in record-breaking time. Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge Starting with the longest bridge in the world to date, the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge spans a total of 102.4 miles or 165 kilometers in length. It is part of the high-speed rail network. The bridge spans over water, low-laying rice fields and meanders through calm and rushing rivers and beautiful mountain ranges. The construction of the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge employed over 10,000 workers. Care to guess how long this bridge took to build? You can pause the video here and guess. This bridge shattered records when it was built, and this mammoth of a bridge took the Chinese people only four years to build. That's right, construction started in 2006, and the bridge was finished in 2010 before opening to the public in June 2011. The bridge stands over 100 feet above the ground. The bridge was built to connect the two cities, Shanghai and Nanjing, two major cities in the country. The construction of the bridge helped lessen the travel time by more than two hours. Zhao Zhao Bray Bridge the Zhaozhao Bay Bridge is another fine example of brilliant Chinese engineering. The bridge spans over 16.6 .6 miles or just over 26.7 kilometers. This is another record holder. This bridge was the world's biggest bridge over water in terms of aggregate length which was only moved down to second place after another bridge built by China overtook its place. This was indeed an engineering marvel and it's beautiful to look at. If you look at this bridge and think, yes, it took them a lot of time to build, you'd be dead wrong about it. The bridge in its entirety only took four years to build. Construction started in 2007 and was finished and opened in 2011. It should also be mentioned that it's the only bridge in the world with an intersea exchange or in simpler terms, an on and off ramp in the middle of the bridge helping connect three cities together. It was a massive undertaking to build this bridge, with over 450,000 tons of steel used for this project and an estimated 2.3 million cubic meters of cement used to complete the construction of this bridge. The bridge is supported by 5,238 concrete pillars. This bridge was also a huge help to the commuters as it helped shave off 30 minutes from their daily drive using the old Bayside Highway, Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. This is not the fastest bridge in our list, but it's certainly the most interesting one ever built by the Chinese. And it truly is a wonder how spectacular engineering is and how it transforms the way we travel. And we look at the world and what makes this bridge so special. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge currently holds the title of the longest bridge over water and is a 34 mile long or 55 kilometers bridge tunnel system. The bridge connects the major cities of Hong Kong and Macau. As I mentioned earlier, this is certainly not the fast bridge building we have seen in China, but as I just said, this is a bridge tunnel system. You're probably wondering now, how in the world is a bridge that goes over the sea need a tunnel? Aren't tunnels for going through mountains? Well, you see, this tunnel goes underground. The part of your journey would be through the top of the bridge overlooking the sea on both sides and then you watch as the road drops down, going straight down to a tunnel and you come out to the other side in another city. How long did it take them to build this? Just under 9 years. This bridge started construction on December 15, 2009 and was reopened to the public on October 24, 2018. This is not only a bridge but also has a tunnel underwater which you have to assume was not easy to build. And to top it all off, the bridge has an artificial island just before you enter the tunnel. Building this bridge helped commuters make what used to be a two-hour drive down to just 40 minutes. San Yuan Bridge The San Yuan Bridge is truly a feat of modern engineering. The bridge was built a while ago, but recently, due to wear and tear, the bridge had to be replaced. 
This was no easy task since the Sanyuan Bridge links over 48 key routes and three highways in the city of Beijing, and this bridge sees an average of over 200,000 vehicles traveling through it on a daily basis. There were many plans on how to tackle this, and meticulous plans and disagreements between engineers meant that the build for this bridge revised was 11 times. That was not all. They calculated that if they used conventional methods, it would take just over two months to finish the construction, and this was not feasible at all. Since it meant that one of the busiest roads in the country would be shut down for two months, there would just be chaos all over. They finally decided that they would fabricate the bridge in another location, and then once it was done, they would dismantle the existing bridge, move the new bridge into place, and then pave the roads. Sounds simple enough when I say it, but the truth is, the seemingly easy method is that once the bridge was prefabricated in another location, they still had the trouble of having it transported to the location of the bridge, and it was no simple feat. The prefabricated bridge weighed over 1,300 tons. However, the engineers did it. They dismantled the bridge, transported the new bridge in, paved the roads again, and were able to open the bridge back to the public again in just 43 hours. Now, that is what we like to call the fastest bridge construction. We just saw how fast the Chinese can build bridges, but not all of this because of manpower. Most of these huge bridges we saw could be completed quickly and efficiently thanks to gigantic machines that are purpose-built to make bridge construction faster and more efficient. Let's take a look at them right now. The SLJ-900 The SLJ-900 is a revolutionary build lane machine built by Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company, designed and engineered by Xi Zhuang Railway Design Institute is a 7-meter wide, 91-meter long colossal giant weighing roughly 580 tons. The huge machine picks up a ready-made section of the bridge and then transports it to complete the next section of the bridge. Sections of the bridges are built beforehand and then transported to where the construction takes place. And the SLJ-900 picks up each piece and moves it into place. Once the pillars are placed, the SLJ-900 drops its pneumatic anchors and holds on to the first pillar. Then it can hover above the bridge carrying a girder section to the next pillar and then place it down. This machine is expected to build over 750 bridges in its entire lifetime. Kunlun The name Kunlun comes from a mountain range famous for its massive peaks. Lovingly nicknamed the Iron Beast, it certainly lives up to its name, and it performs the same functions as the SLJ-900 in helping build bridges. But the main difference is that this machine can also be adjusted to transport a 24-meter or a 32-meter or the biggest of them all, a 40-meter girder section for bridges. This machine was engineered and made by the China Railway 5th Survey and Design Institute, and it's the world's first 1,000-ton transport machine. What are your thoughts on these bridges popping up just in the span of a few years, and the amazing equipment used in building them? Let's know down in the comments about your thoughts on these bridges. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out in our future videos.